weekend, busy weekend for me. Um, started a little bit late because I was experimenting with a plugin called Vertical. The idea is that it kind of um, switches up your, it kind of realigns your stream so that whenever you upload to TikTok and um, YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels, basically your stream will be uh, formatted correctly. Unfortunately, I think it was a little bit more complicated than I anticipated. So instead, I just um, decided to, you know, we're not going to mess with this. We're spending like longer than 20 minutes on here. And I, I, do, I don't want to mess with it. Look at my stream right now, though. I think we're, we're looking okay. We're looking, we're looking good. Okay, so the only other thing is... Yeah, yeah. I will. So you might notice... Dang, Romero, the hell's going on there? You might have noticed. Holy shit, dude, you got a little, you got a little V going on. You got a little, you got a little head curl. You might be thinking, what's going on? I'm telling you what's going on. I'm entering my slut phase. So watch out, fellas. I'm coming for your moms and your girlfriends and your boyfriend's girlfriends. That's right, I mean it. Believe me. <laughs> oh, I need a mute. Uh hey, uh game, mute. Uh hey Google, mute the game. Mute mute the TV, mute the TV. Alright, let's get into this. Oh boy. Uh there's no game here. That's weird. There we go. Perfect. I hear nothing, though. Oh. Uh, let me see what the audio app is. Okay, there we go. I, I see it. I hear it now. It's there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's get into Final Fantasy thirteen. <laughs> because we, this, this stream is already taking in. We're like 20 minutes in and we're just starting. Oh, my package just shipped. I ordered a um I ordered um a uh uh earbuds. They're these uh, they're it's called comply foam, but it's basically these earbuds and that what they do is yeah. Basically what these earbuds do is they kind of isolate sound a little bit better. So, they're great, but um I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job at not being distracted, guys. Okay. So what I was trying to say, they're great. However, um, you know, I struggle a little bit here and there with them. Wait, that's not what I was trying to say at all. I was trying to say that they're good, they're styrofoam, they're squishy, but um, they're kind of hard to get. I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm going insane here. God damn. Why, why, why would anyone trick me like that? Why would anyone trick me into saying something I'm not supposed to? Alright, and we're playing... Uh, I'm, I'm overstating things. I, I, I think I'm just flustered that there's just... This weekend was kind of crazy. Not even the, like the good kind of crazy. It was like the kind of crazy where I'm just like... What the hell's going on? Alright, so this was our first save, and this is our new save. 2023, 2022, 20... You're right. Really? Okay. Four hours. Shit, man. I was playing this game in 2021. Damn, the game's calling me out. Like, hey, bro, you're not a real gamer. But yeah, how, how's that? Oh. The story so far. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, look at how crispy this looks. Like, this looks deep fried. This was in, in the Popeye's deep fryer. And then it, I, I put it on my TV. Holy crap. That, that was captured in 360p. All right, now let's look at how fresh this is going to look. Look how fresh this is gonna look. The 
easy path. Humanity has chosen to build a society. This this might be F. But it's already looking good. It's already looking good. Yeah, look how good this looks now. Damn, we went from like super deep fry to oh. Holy crap. I know, right? Looks good. Yeah, god damn. Okay, so the only uh the only thing that kind of doesn't look good is the honestly the auto HDR. I feel like it could be a little bit better, but um I don't know. I think that might be more of a TV issue. I think this TV well does do HDR, and I think HDR looks good in some games like Apex Legends. I feel like not having it in this game would be better. Give me. I was just so glad it wasn't my name on there. I wish it wasn't yours either. All right, chick, you're being melodramatic. So now we can kind of ride the chocobo. Hold up. There we go. That's the screenshot right there. <laughs> That's going to be for the next thumbnail. Okay. So there's two areas. We can't go over here, right? I don't think so. Let's see. All right, hey, what's up, Choco Bocalina? Oh, I need to lower the audio. There we go. 18. Yeah, I, I'm I'm the important guy here, okay, guys? Remember that. I, you guys need to be able to hear my voice, not the game voice. Okay. Oh, my gosh! I can't believe you really did it! You subdued that big old hunk of a meanie! You just saved us all from a devastating fate. Now that we're all She's got some boobies. Find a way to spend some of that money. Damn. Just a simple man. All right. Uh. All right. She has two Gishal greens. How many? Oh, or I own two Gishal greens. How many? I don't know what I. I don't. I don't even know what I want to get. To be honest, I kind of just want to chill out for a little bit and like coast. Ever need a hand with anything? You know where to find me. I'll be right here. Okay, lady. Uh. No, 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 oh my gosh. Shit, that, okay. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so we kind of did this part already. We need to go look down there. For an area we have a bit too. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. We can fly. That's awesome. But we can't really... How do I do the the? Well, let's let's look up how I do the mock thing, man. I I'm a, I think I forgot how to do everything. I think uh you know I'm not doing so hot. I thought I was pretty good at this game, and it turns out I'm not. All right, where's uh what's his name? Uh, gameplay basics. Where's Mog? The Moogle Hunt. Oh, right bumper. Okay. Right bumper. I have to get off it. Oh my gosh, I just wasted it. Oh my gosh, I have to get off it. Is that it? We got it? Way to go, bobblehead. Now for the gate. <laughs> I like how that guy was looked all shocked in the background. Oh boy. It's uh Yeah, I did handle that. Let's see. I I like I like that rumors of my legend are spreading. Okay, so yeah, we need to go down here and explore that area right there. It's like a big old D. Yeah, it's a D. Alright. So, and I think there's a medicine in here. Like a medicine capsule that we need to get. And now we'll be able to complete our side quest with that. Oh, we're... Again? God damn it. 
Oh boy. All right, we're gonna have to stock up on Gishaw Greens because um, this is gonna get very annoying. Yep, and I'm out. Oh, where are they going? Oh, okay. And we're in. Ah! All right, double Ravager. All right, I think if we can, we can go ahead and uh, tackle this guy. He's gonna get healed to all hell, so we might as well just focus on dealing with him. Right, we got triple ravager, and then this will be able to uh, immediately, immediately, bam, bam, bam. Let's go. All right, and then we'll do rav. Uh, there we go, ravager commando. All right, we're good to go. That's how you do it. All right, and then these guys should be dead. Ooh, all in one shot. All right, so he's gonna go first. I'm gonna go second, and then he's gonna go third. Mm. Look at that. Perfect. Really well executed. They didn't even know what the hell was coming at them. And then we can also upgrade our monsters. Dude, there's so much. Stuff. I feel like I was gone for a week, and it feels like I was gone longer, because, uh... Is this word? That's the one we need. We wanted to upgrade, right? Oh, you know what? I just realized we have the um, the dendrobalum. We needed this guy. I forgot about this fucking dude. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know we're good. We're I'm a I'm a I'm a professional gamer. I know what I'm talking about. But we're not gonna touch that right now. But I think that is probably where we're gonna have to go. <coughs> we're gonna go down here. See if the uh, um, that's not the medicine. Ooh, mana droplets, though. Those are good. I don't want to fight. All right, okay. Let me look at my uh, inventory. The yeah, items. There should be a capsule. Yeah, there's only one. Okay. Oh, no. We got to go back in there. We got to look at the map. Um, shit, that might actually be it. Well, there's that whole other area that I can't get to. I guess we'll explore that. I think that other... Part where you need the chocobo for sure, but um, you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk about it as we go. All right, this might be the capsule. We'll see. This feels like I'm gonna grab it. No, that's a lot, man. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a tough fight. All right, I'm not, I need uh, the Ravager for this one. I mean the Sentinel. Cool. All right, we'll do diversity. And we'll go back to uh, this. All right, and uh, what's your weakness? Blizzard? Okay. There we go, Blizzard. Pow, pow. All right, and then this way, Null's going to take a majority of the damage, and us, using Ravagers, will be able to kind of, like, put in some damage. That we're not too worried about it. But he's already going to die, which is great. Uh, it may not seem like it, but this ma this fight could have easily have gone sideways. And then we're just going to go all in. And this, this, we're, we're, we're building up the, the chain gauge so quick right now. All right. Yeah, there we go, there we go, he's dead. Doesn't matter if we're about to die, he's dead. You know, it's like he said, don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning. Alright, let's get it. Capsule, there it is. Hey guy, I got your capsule. What's the point of adding a, a jump on it? Ah, 
Tilt button is so useless. Okay, so we're gonna have to... When we get out... Yeah, right over there. That's where they are. We'll be able to return the capsules. Then we'll be able to look at everything else. Nope, get away from me. Don't want to fight. Ooh. Yeah, we're doing it. We're making changes. Okay, cool. I did. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for talking about it. Now I want to make sure everyone knows uh, who I am. Oh, I've not captured that Pokemon yet. I want that Pokemon. That guy seems new. All right, the oh, the Adimu, the Adimu, um, Commando, Tameable. Okay. Oh boy. All right, let's let's just immediately. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, these enemies are almost like too easy to stagger. So we're we're uh, we're definitely building up the um, the chain gauge, but we're not staggering them 100 percent yeah like that's a stagger but like he was already dead good job robot proud of you okay. um probably got a bit of money but we're not really gonna buy it i mean we're not gonna buy anything i need to get i need to get way better at speaking i suck at speaking huh. cannot be leveled up oh um. All right, Kate Sith is the man. We're probably gonna have to upgrade Pop Light a bit. More. He's an early peeker, so we want to take like full advantage of him right now. And then we're probably gonna disband him a little bit later. Then uh, this thing, yeah. So this guy gets the droplets. Um. Monster. We're gonna do magic. Cool. Learn fog. Awesome. Learned wound. Awesome. Great. So we got poison, wound, and this. Alright. Then, um. I think we'll get rid of those word scandroid right now. And we'll switch it for the, uh, Dendroblum. We got two late bloomers. I gotta be very careful. But I think poison is gonna be very awesome whenever we get a chance to use it. Uh oh. Alright. Um. Sorry, that's so that's wild. I just saw something crazy. <laughs> uh, I don't know if... Here, I'll, I'll show you. So it's on a dating app. It says, you and Aaron matched. Oh god, this is... Here, uh... Let me see if I can find it on Reddit. Here. Cool, cool. One second, one second. Hey, what's up, Griever? How you doing? Look at the uh let's see if I can find. I love dating apps right here. This is the one. Yeah, so oh, we're gonna post up we're gonna look at something real quick. Alright, so yeah, this is what we got. Boy, my camera is a little too high, huh? Right, well, I don't know if I want to mess with it right now. I don't know if I want to mess with it. Oh my why is that? Uh hey, you know what we can make. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so it says, why is that over there? What is it? Windows tab? Oh. Dude, ah. Oh. I hate how... Okay, I need to fix my stream. I need to fix my stream. All right, we need to lower the camera first. Anyway, how you doing, Griever? What have you been up to? Uh, I'm okay, uh, but uh, just dealing with some light technical issues. A 
Message. All right, that looks a little bit better, but now I might be too high. Let's see. How do we look in the gaming set? Yeah, I'm a little. Well, I'd rather have it like this, so. Honestly, this isn't that bad. I'd rather have it like this. All right. Um, and uh, for the reaction, okay, this looks a little bit better. Now, my only problem though is, is like, how do I, how do I reset a page? Yeah. How do I go full screen on a page? No, oh, oh, that's not what I want. Tab. Snap right. There we go. Holy crap. Okay. All right. So the reason why I was laughing uh, is because uh, I got this notification on my um, on my phone. It said, I love dating apps. So person, she matched with uh, Aaron. And Aaron said, hi, Lauren, looking good in your pics. Would you be willing to put your children up for adoption? I want to date someone without kids, looking for someone who is willing to free themselves of their current kids. Kiss, kiss. Now, I'm assuming Aaron is trying to be funny, but um, it, it has to be a troll. There's no way. But um, it, that, that's an insane message to lead with. That's, that's a crazy message to start with. Chained Echoes. Was that the one you were talking about last time? But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's an insane, insane message to lead with. Yeah, it has to be a troll. He has to be a troll. It has to, yeah. <laughs> you can't make this up. All right, dude. I want to see your red karma. The line of witch and the audacity of this dick. That's, a, that's great. I, mean, I love Reddit comments. But yeah, that's a, you know, that Tinder do be like that, right? Tinder do be like that. All right, let's go back. Okay, um, Chain Echoes, you're saying? Let me look it up. I want to say you mentioned this last time, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the one you mentioned last time. Yeah, um, I might check it out at some point. I know it's on Game Pass. What do you like about it so far? <laughs> what the hell is this DM? Oh, dude, this, this is how you get this is how you get bitches, as ta uh, as Andrew Tate said. You need to put them in the place because they need to respect that you got the Bugatti, the Bugatti. All right, let's let's continue. How many okay. times I wonder if I can upgrade my weapons yet. I don't know if I have enough. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the Genji Bow, the Mermusa, and the Catastrophe Blade. I think these are all DLC weapons. Yeah, because they're zero. So we're not going to get those. We're going to stick to what we have. And then there's no point in buying talismans right now. The only thing we, we, we kind of can buy is um, monster materials. Like ten of these and three bolts. All right, because we we should upgrade our monster, our Pokemon. So, I want him to get a few new abilities, and then I want him to be absorbed. And then the um the the Hoplite is the other. He's the early pick. But he, but he gains so much, like dude, eleven HP, four HP. He, he's in, he's wild. Yeah, that's very funny. They missed a mark by about a mile and a half. I don't know, man. You should. Uh, I don't know. I should be bragging. My DMs on these dating apps because I've been using Bumble and Tinder. They're not the best. They're not the best. I'm not sending my best. Um, I'm trying, but it's it's hard, man. It it it. it it, it, it's hard. <laughs> Alright, so, um, Sentinel roll. Fringe ward. Awesome, that's what I've been looking for. 
All right, we're probably gonna max it out over here. Learn Vendetta. All right, Sentinel bonus. Great. And then I'm I want the medic roll. Yeah, because then I can uh, not hold on to Kate Sith for a while. Okay, now with uh, with um, with him, we're also gonna upgrade the Sentinel roll. I'm gonna make him a little bit more tanky than Sarah. So with him, I think I will get the Sentinel bonus, so that whenever we're in a Sentinel paradigm, having Noel as a as a Sentinel will give me the, the yeah the bonus boost. All right, and then I think I, I think we're done with Sentinel with him for now. We're gonna go with um. We need more magic attacks. Well, actually, no. We're gonna. I'm gonna go for Scourge. We do need Scourge. There we go. Cause, and then we'll go back to magic. All right. So now that we have our party paradigms, yeah, this is good. So now we need to customize them. Oh boy. Salvation. Uh. Sentinel, Medic, and Dendroblump. So we got we got two right there that we can use. Yeah, and Matador. I don't want too too much um what bumps okay. I think this I think this is okay right now. Yeah, and then we'll start with the so we got two paradise when we heal, so that's good. So reading what um Grieber is, is saying. The combat system is pretty good. World exploration is meaningful and fun. Grinding is minimal, not to say non-existent. Also, the game seems to have a great sense of humor when it's appropriate. I love what games have. One of my favorite things about Bug Fables is the sense of humor. Um, I love a good sense of humor that doesn't feel forced or anything. Uh, Bug Fables is such a funny game. Eventually, I want to replay it again on stream. I don't know when I went. I think even Digimon Survive has a decent sense of humor. Sort of. It's kind of. It's got a little bit cringy. Like that, I'm still the the pervert line was crazy. Like when you run to your first Digimon, and one of the guys goes like, "What the hell is that a pervert?" And I'm like, "Come on, this is such a fucking anime trope. What the fuck?" Okay, we enough of this. Yeah, here I got your pills. I like how he turned around to the back, and be like, "Hey man, we got the capsules." Only oh, a fragment and a hundred CP. I already heard that. All right, uh, you know what I should have gotten is the gift shop greens. I'm a freaking idiot. If you ever need a hand with any, no. Howdy time, buddy. If you ever need a hand with, yep. All right, cool, cool. Because now we have to walk all the way back. Oh, there's a little bit of dust in the feet in the air. That's pretty cool. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, so we're back on cocoon. That's crazy. That's pulsed out up there. Oh, yeah, there's an item up there that we need the choke before. We shouldn't. We shouldn't have. Maybe we can sell an ornament or something. I don't know. We're gonna we're, we're gonna need the chocobo right now. I'm gonna need to sell something. Yeah. So I got a question with um with uh, the echoes game, chained echoes. Oh wow, your costume looks really unique compared to what I've seen so far. The hell? Like it looks nothing like from what we've seen so far. Good job. Howdy time. Okay, so. Wait, did I never equip the new weapons? If you ever need it. Oh my gosh, I didn't equip the new weapons. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? 
That it just ha that happens, right? That's a normal thing that happens. <laughs> okay, um We'll change later for a bit, why not? And then let's also start looking at the data log. Alyssa is an academy trainee who helps release Noel and Sarah from the custody of the Brescia Ruin Security Force. The lies she uses to set them free and the fact that she already knows Sarah's name make the two travelers wary of trusting her. Although still a teenager, Alyssa is highly gifted and is already part of an official research team. There is something to the Brescia Ruins that she is eager to investigate. Yeah, she thought she found her tombstone. Mog. Mog is a small, mysterious creature covered in white fur. He has a bat-like wings that he often beats as he flits around. But his power of flight does not appear to rely on them. Mog has a crystal bobble that reacts to the presence of anomalies. And he is proficient in finding lost objects. But his most astounding feature is his ability to transform into a weapon. With the right components available, Mog is capable of evolving into even more powerful weaponry. Chocolina is a time-traveling merchant who can be found all over the world. There are reports that this mysterious trader appearing in almost every age in history. Some rumors say that she is a certain creature that took on a human form. Aside from offering an assortment of wares, Chocolina is also an expert craftsperson, able to synthesize special weapons and items from raw materials. She will, however, always assist on collecting a fee. Okay, so with Chained Echoes, is, does the walking get monotonous? Because one of the things I find in um, JRPGs is the walking can get monotonous after a while, especially if you don't unlock some kind of fast travel system. So like here, I got the Chocobo. In Pokemon, you can get the bicycle. Um, and um, what about in Chained Echoes? Do they have any form of like fast travel at all? Or is it all like, um, I don't know, just kind of walk? Or, or are things even far at all? Noel is a young man that arrived in New Bodom at the same time as the meteorite. He is the last of humanity from a world 700 years in the future, a world where Cuckoo no longer exists. He claims that he met with Lightning in the other world of Valhalla and that she requested to find Sarah in the past. Noel is adept at hunting and appears to have some knowledge of time travel. All right, that's all for now. We'll read some power. Oh, no, no, wait. Wait, wait. wait. I'm talking. If you ever need a hand oh my gosh, shut up, I shut up, shut up. Oh wait, did I not buy the gish? I don't think I bought the shit gish oh, greens. Oh. This is how you waste time in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to sell something. Oh, boy. Um... Uh, I'm gonna sell the star pet in for now. <laughs> I can't believe I sold that. We can buy another one. Uh, it's e we're not crafting like what uh, accessories like crazy in this game, so. Interesting. So now they have different things to say. What do I do? This is hopeless. Oh, this is a side quest. You want to know what's wrong? No. Well, I can't get this stupid drawer in my desk to open. You're thinking she's forgotten her password, aren't you? Well, you're wrong. The stupid lock on the stupid drawer is broken. And I really need a file I left in there. In Brescia Ruins 5 AF, Academy student Cordelia has a dilemma. Her stupid desk drawer is stupid jammed shut, and she can't get her stupid hands on her personal notes. Perhaps the treasure hunter Ma can find a way to retrieve her notes. You can get it open? Oh, but don't just go busting the desk apart. I need a non-violent solution. You need a non-violent solution? Hey, man, they, they don't call me MLK for no reason. <laughs> That's such a bad joke. Alright, there's an item up there we need to get, and then, uh, we need to get off this thing, right? Yep. Alyssa's suggestion and decided to call that glowing object a gate. 
God damn it. Uh, I need more Gishaw greens. I need like way more Gishaw greens. I'll read that right now. Can we open this? It appears to be locked. Do we need to go into another timeline to open that? All right, let me see what you said. So the game is divided uh, into. Uh, let me do a pop out chat. All right. So the game is divided into different areas that you unlock as the story progresses. Standard. These are relatively expansive, which is not a problem for a couple of reasons. Okay. So you you don't get fast travel yet. What do you got to say? Do you have anything new to say? Still pissed up. What's with the size? Oh, trouble with ID overlap. You know our communicator service personal IDs? Well, it seems like there's another guy out there using the same identification signature as me. It's him. It's him from the future. On the database, it was obvious. It has me existing in two places at the same time. Someone else's ID is overlapping with mine. I want to know how this could have happened. Brescia Ruins AF. Morris has found himself in quite a predicament. According to the Academy Security, someone else is out there using his identification signature. Find a culprit responsible for the duplicates and comm device to solve this mystery. Look into it for me. Hey, it's like I have my own private detectives. Imagine if you actually found a the fuck are you doing back there, sir? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Oh, this guy has a cool gaming chair. Look at that. Alright, let's go return to this. Maybe she has some Gishaw greens that we can have. Alright, you got anything cool to say? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you, buddy. Need more monster sample. Yo, that is a wild leaping conclusion. Wasn't really broken at all, but somehow phased out of time. Was no, your drawer was broken. This is huge. Thank you for your assistance. Your desk was broke. Oh my gosh. I want to take a break for a while. Man, it's wild. Maybe it's like a time quake. Oh man, these plants, they've been growing like crazy. It's probably time travel. Was my drawer broken? Hell no. That thing just traveled into the future. It's like, what? What is going on here? <laughs> All right, let me let me. Move. All right. So first, the world is full of areas to explore. Secrets don't fall, so you'll hardly ever be walking around aimlessly. That's good. I love areas where games where the aimlessly walking around doesn't feel aimless. And the first expensive area you get into right after the tutorial has four key places that you can fast travel to and from and at will. These are constant when new towns and areas, so you can go back and forth provided you're not on an on-rail story section of the game. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that's that's cool. I like that. I like all of that. Atlas's power source was a crystal of sorts. It could have been our new energy source. But since the giant's remains disappeared, we're left with nothing to analyze. What we did wasn't all good, huh? Don't worry. I think you two did the right thing. It was too advanced for us to control anyway. It's a very dangerous technology. Mm. Personally, I don't want to rely on crystals. For all we know, that could lead to the foul sea ending up in charge again. And nobody wants that. Crystal mommy. Converting into a not crystal mommy. Alright guys, out of the way. Stronger 
than any of the troops are. The army is good at making noise and blowing stuff up. Well, guess what? I'm good at hunting big monsters. I guess you guys need all the help you can get to protect these ruins. Well, I'm impressed. I thought you'd be crushed for sure. Glad to see I was wrong. You know, the military has all these big weapons that go unga boonga, unga brrrr. But me, I'm hunting a big monster, so I can take out the bad guys. That's what that sounds like. I'll need to run a test later. Okay, I need a... Uh... I need more. I need. A, I need to get shot greens. That's what I need. Maybe we should see if they okay. Um. I need to sell something else. I, I need the bird. I need the bird. So the this sucks. Howdy time. Yeah, I need to sell something. We'll sell a phoenix down. All right, that gives us. We can buy the bird. Oh, oh, oh the Gishaw Green. If you ever need a hand with anything, you know where. To oh, yep, you're right there. All right, let's go. All right, cool. We can we we can find the explore new area that I've been wanting to explore for. So oh. glum, sir. Things are safe and back to normal. <laughs> you should be happy. Once this investigation is over, you'll be sent to another department. That is most important. Sir, I... Who would want to let go of such an able assistant? Bro, are y'all gay? The hell? <laughs> this is a chocobo. Who would want to let go of such an able assistant? I get it, man. You know, sometimes you work with a friend. You don't want that friend to leave your department. I get that, but come on. That that seemed a little extra to me. That seemed a little bit too spicy. 400 gil. God damn it. They gave you the money for the chocobo right there. What's that? All right, so we got a few gates. We got, yeah, we got some stuff we can go to. Right, we're gonna have to go to those in a bit. Can I jump? No. Almost got it. Almost had it. I think I almost had it. I don't know how to how you get that actually. How do you get that? What the hell? Uh, is there another way of getting this? Because if I like... No. How would I get that? Oh, do I have to fly to it? Maybe, maybe I have to fly to it. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I got, I need to look it up. How do I get the um new window? FF thirteen dash two. How to get item on Atlas hand? You can ride chugboat to the railing near the entry gate. Bounce along the fingers of the Atlas hands, but there's a boss you can't see to reach no matter what direction I jump from. You will need to revisit this area after you get to a certain point. Oh. 
Oh, okay, okay. What is the point of... Oh, what a... Damn, Square Enix is sneaky. Okay, there's just one more item that I want to get over here, and then after that, we'll just kind of head out. I want to look... I'll probably look at the side quest to see what I have to do, and then we'll leave. Yeah, the item's up there. Cool, cool. Right, we can jump from here. Yeah, oh, no. No. Okay, maybe a little bit closer. Maybe from here. Yeah, okay, I'm going. I was going. I was doing a little bit too much. Power droplets. Oh. Why did he say Koopa? Oh, there's something there. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all the artifacts. A graviton core beta. Okay. Right, well, we can't we can't ride anymore. So. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to a new world. Oh wait, we're. The new world is this way. Yeah, we gotta we gotta walk. Fortunately, oof, back to walking. All that shit talking, uh, all that shit talking, I was doing about walking, and now now we gotta do it. We got you, Boris. Hmm, fantastic. All right. Oh, you're 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 dead. Oh, we got it. Great. Not bad. Or the mumu. Um, here is a gate. So we could probably go on this one. Or we can go on the other one. And it use an eclipse artifact to activate the skate and start to flow time. There's also the other one down there, but yeah, we'll use this one for now. We'll come back to the other one. Yes. Yes, it worked. Sarah. Nothing. I'm fine, really. Just tired, I guess. Well, nobody tired responds like that. Hmm. Right. Somehow I kind of doubt it's nothing. Yeah, exactly. Don't talk about. We unraveled the paradox and continued on to another time, another place. But why had these gates appeared? Who had tangled the timelines, and for what purpose? I still didn't know. Why am I able to fix these temporal anomalies? Bend monsters to my will? Why do I have this power at all? I'll keep traveling with Noel, knowing that we'll find you eventually. So Lightning, if you're watching, do what you can to guide us to your side. We land right in the place where lightning is waiting. Where do you think we'll end up this time? The future? The past? I have no idea. With all this jumping back and forth, I'm not sure I know which is which anymore. <laughs> but the past is what makes us who we are. Defines us as people. The future that we're aiming for, that's the thing we can change. No matter how bad things have been, without that past, I wouldn't be who I am now. That makes sense. So, Sarah, you shouldn't feel like you're wasting your time. 
Even if we don't arrive in Valhalla, there's still value in every path we take. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but hey, I won't complain if we do end up there. All this running around is exhausting. <laughs> hey, make up your mind. <laughs> Just be honest with yourself. If you are, you'll be sure to arrive in the future you want. And I guess, man, that sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. For sure. Sure. Sarah, forgive me. It's a cute moment between them. That was a past you never should have had to deal with. But now, because of your courage, the timelines have one less knot to unravel. If I could, I would thank you for what you have accomplished. But I can't. Not just yet. The Yachas Massive. You now have the access to close the gate. Okay. We don't need to do that. Okay, and then yeah, this is DLC, which we'll get to later. Russia Ruins. Alright, we'll go to the Yachas Massive. continues to develop. Machines once run by the Falci are now powered by human technology. Driving the progress is the Academy, which has grown to take a leading role in affairs of state. Under its young leader, the Academy is working to solve the paradoxes that warp the surrounding space-time. At the heart of the distortions is the Yasha's Massif, its skies darkened by a perpetual eclipse. Yachas Mashif had one of the best like um store uh, game uh, soundtracks of um a score actually scores the work. Yachas Mashif had one of the best scores in DOG 13. The future will be better. They believe the hardships of the present fade with the passage of time. And so we hope waiting for a future brighter than today. But Sarah, remember this. As you walk towards a brighter tomorrow, prophecy of hope. You have to look back to your past. Well, that looks so hot. The path you have walked to reach the here and now will give you the courage you need to hope. It's crazy we're already on episode three, considering that it's so dark. there's only like five episodes, I think. This must be the eclipse. You know what this is? They said 500 years ago, a massive Falci appeared. For a while, it blotted out the sun and turned everything dark. If that happened 500 years in your past, then this must be 200 years in my future. Right. But something's wrong. Look, the eclipse is only affecting this small area. That shouldn't be possible. Okay, so you're saying this could be a paradox? That's what I'm saying. Huh. So, if Fauci is blocking off the sky, what's okay? Well, this all right, let's take a look. Stories we heard that there used to be a great city on Grand Pulse. I bet this is what these ruins are. What happened to Cocoon? No one's Idiot. been able to figure that out. We were more or less locked up inside Cocoon. We never had much opportunity to learn about the world below us. Our Oh, let me hear what they have to say. Have only just begun to study the mysteries of Grand Pulse. Okay, so new area, new place, which means that we're going to have to change leaders. And we're going to change outfits. Oh, what name? And so, one other thing is uh, the dad log. Paradoxes. The story of Crooks is the crossroads that lies between time gates. It is a separate dimension connecting one age to the next. This surreal plane is used to be the board is is said to be the border of the chaotic realm of Mahala, and only those with an affinity for the power of chaos are able to use it to travel through time. So we. Even the godlike Fauci are not free to enter the Historia Crooks as they please. 
What's interesting about that is that um, that means that we're using the power of chaos. Following the appearance of the gate that appeared in New Bodum 3 AF, time gates began showing up in a multitude of locations. The Research Institute, the Academy, gave a name to the anomalies and accompany the arrival of these gates and cause impossible things to happen. They called them paradoxes. In any location where a paradox is present, people report strange occurrences, such as the sudden appearance of unusual monsters and odd connections to their times and places. It was Atlas. Atlas is a massive humanoid war machine found within the Brescia ruins, and it began an uncontrolled rampage when the paradox effect was triggered. Only the left hand of Atlas was discovered, but the rest of its invisible body is thought to exist in a different space-time. Despite being excavated in the ruins of an ancient city, the technology that powers the giant is far beyond the capabilities of that age. Researchers theorize that Atlas is actually a man-made weapon pulled into the present um, from some future time period. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're getting it. We're getting it. Alright. Um... All right, Kate Sith. I don't know what he needs. He uh level two yet? Okay. Strength. All right, we'll get the pump. Uh, do I want to use power? Sure. Ooh. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, select like the bonus boost. Alright, so dispel and peril. Alright, so that, that's gonna be a great one. Alright, do we got anything for you? Potent bolts? Oh, no. Yeah, not for him either. Grimland, and then there's Uri Dumaru. Alright, okay, cool, cool. Stop, stop. Google, stop, stop, stop. Hello, are you here to observe the facility? I can answer any questions you might have. Ah, yeah, perfect. I do have some questions. Where are we? And what year is it? Wait, you can't just... <laughs> what? I'm just... Yashas Masif, 10 AF, sir. 10 AF? So nowhere near 200 years. Oh, I must say, this is the first time anyone asked me what year it was. I don't suppose you happen to be time travelers? Oh, my gosh. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to hand out this map. Take it, it's free. Sweet. All right. Okay. Okay. We can't go the other way, so we're gonna go this way for now. All right. We got five hundred gills, so we can probably buy another gift shell greens. This is so cool. I love how they repurpose this from Final Fantasy Thirteen. Like it's great. The sun's disappearance is no need for panic. It's our job as scientists to figure out what's behind this mystery. On sunny days, I can't help but wish I didn't have to be at work. I suppose that's not an issue anymore. I'll resolve the paradox, you'll see. I'll turn Pulse into a haven one day. Life will be better than it ever was on Cocoon. Okay, you dork. <laughs> I thought I was going to be assigned to a research lab. I love that this music is the Final Fantasy main, uh, main menu music. Like that, 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 uh, that section right there, and it's just like repurposed for here. Listen to it. Well, actually, well, let me get away from here and then we'll listen to it. We'll listen to it right here.
the fuck away from me. I said before, but the music in this game is so goaded. There seems to be a rift between the ones who stayed on Cocoon and the ones who moved to Cole. Things here. Interesting. Normally they have things hidden in the corner, so that's interesting. This music is so good. Right, and then, oh boy. Okay, you guys. Alright, we already fought a few of these guys, so... Oh, we already got poison. Maybe we did need that poison pendant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, chill, chill out, chill out. So, Wounded Magic is pretty cool. So, like, look at his health. Like, he can't recover beyond that. Okay. That's fine, we can just do Meta Guard until she comes back. So does he only are they immune to poison? Yeah they are. Okay, so he can only do wounding magic. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright. The behemoths prowling in the darkness of Yachas must have a strong aversion to light. If you encounter one of these dangerous beasts, run to the nearest patch of light to return the mod clock to safe state. Once the mod clock is green, it's time to plan your next move. Monsters will not appear if you stay within the roving searchlight beams. Try to figure out the safest route to avoid confronting a behemoth. What do you do? I recommend walking along the path of the searchlight. Most monsters hate light and will do anything to avoid it. Okay. Nine hundred and sixty gil. Hell yeah. Dude, we should just come here instead of like looks on you. I wonder if I can fight him. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see. Come on, no, do Metagard. Okay, uh, Phoenix down. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this will help keep the stagger gauge up. Yeah, that's all that's for. Is to help keep the stagger gauge up. Oh, Poison is doing wonders. Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll keep doing this. Oh, what's this do? Oh. Okay. 
Alright. And then... We'll do, uh... Yeah, we'll do this. Please do Metaguard, Noel. Yeah, he's doing Metaguard. Or, hey, we might be able to beat this guy. The problem is that, like, once he gets, like, half-life, he might transform. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. That's fine. Yeah, we might actually be able to beat this dude. Alright, poison him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, this is great and all, but uh... Yep, do it, do it. Okay. Phoenix down. We got it. We got it, boys. Damn, we got... Holy crap. We actually got the behemoth, too. Ooh. Which Crystarium did that thing give me? Oh, not a lot, actually. Let me see. Oh, no, it gave me a decent amount. Okay, okay. Sentinel... Okay, I want to get Scourge, and then we'll do uh, the next scene. But let me get Death Ward. There we go. Then we'll do Commando. Alright. And then uh, for him, we'll do... Uh, let's see what's your Commando. He's got Launch. We need Launch. I don't think there's much of a... Yeah, a sliver. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Let's go over here. We go around this way, right? All right, and then we'll be able to go across over here. Oh, this game is freezing up right now. All right, I need to save it and quit it. Oh my gosh, this game is... I don't want this to shut off. We'll say it one more time. Alright, and then we'll come back here. Okay, we're gonna close the game and restart it. Ooh. That, that was kind of scary. That was, that was a little scary. One of the biggest fears whenever you play a game, especially like an RPG, is that your game is just going to shut down and you're going to lose progress. And especially in an RPG, you do not want to lose progress because that is so time consuming and so difficult to get back. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Let's see what. We'll... Um, good, right here. Five. Yeah, five hours in, and we're already into episode three. That's wild. Final Fantasy 13 2, the story so far.
Kopo? We have to figure out the labyrinth. You'll be sure to arrive in the future you want. This must be the eclipse. You know what this is? Yeah, how are we in episode three, but we're like this freaking like <laughs> we're like maybe a tenth of the way there. Alright. Ooh, we're right back where we were. Oh, thank Lord, thank Lord. I don't know there. I'm not too, too scared of it, but... Oh my gosh, the game's freezing up again. Okay, this is what we might need to do. Go home, quit it, restart it. Let's try that again. Nope, that did not fix it. Okay, we we might have to remove this the sixty FPS. Yeah, we'll remove it for a little bit, and we'll uh back in. Or actually, we'll remove it. We'll restart it, and then we'll enable it again, and then we'll restart it. Hmm. Well, let's see if it'll freeze at 30 FPS. Oh my gosh. Final Fantasy 13 2, the story so far. Kopo? We have to figure out the labyrinth. You'll be sure to arrive in the future you want. This must be the eclipse. You know what this is? Alright, let's see if that fixes it. Holy shit. All right, let's see how that, that works. Oh, yep, it's running at 30 FPS. This thing is running at 30 FPS. All right, we have to deal with this thing.
Oh my gosh, she's already dead? Does he know how to do rice? Oh my gosh, she didn't do provoke. Provoke it! There we go. We need to retry. Oh, I can't do a retry? Well, I don't even know if he can do if he has race. Oh, this this is Yeah, this might be too hard. Oh boy. Come on. Yep, there it goes. There it is. As I thought, as I thought. Now I can do retry. I, I don't know why I couldn't do retry. Oh, well, we got it, boys. That's how you do it. That's you gotta do. All you gotta do is lose a fight on purpose. All you gotta do is lose a fight on purpose and get the item. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, um... This magic, I want. Race is so far away. Race is so far away. All right. Oh, it's freezing up again. Okay, it's just this area then. Oh boy. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, there we go. It might just be that. Oh. No, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that at all. Gonna wait for an attack. Oh. Where's the item? I need a potion. Oh, hell yeah. I'm loving the potions. All right. Cool, cool. All right, I need a potion.
No. Oh, we got it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's going to be a strategy. Don't stagger it, but get a pretty close to stagger and then destroy it. Okay. Are so passionate about their work. They're working just as hard as ever, even in the dark. Speaking of passionate, I'm the most passionate person I know when it comes to making a living. And on that note, please peruse my passionately promising pick of pieces. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of gill. I don't even know what to, what what do, what do, what do they take? I know it's a little because uh the cat was only taking slivers, right? Yeah, so he's at he's at the sliver base, so he's at grade two. And then the behemoth is at level. He's already at level 2. He's a late bloomer. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh, no. So he's at level 2. We can't do anything else. And the cat's at level 2. But he's a late bloomer, which sucks. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's look at her. Got nothing. I need to start increasing some of these, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to. Right, let me let me see. You got any weapons? Oh, we got a lot of weapons. Okay. Well, these are like the opposite of each other. Interesting. Yeah, we'll get the uh the volatile spark and stinger. I know it's a little. Oh, there's an item right there. Yeah. So, ooh, this is a big buff too. I think that's a that's like a thirty percent increase in strength. Let's go. Yeah, that's a huge increase. Yeah, show greens. Let's go. I put around 40 gil. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Oh, yeah. What, what the hell are you? I think this might be a healer, too. And it's a slug. Oh, boy. You know what might actually be good with these guys? This. Because then they won't be able to heal each other. See, or they're not vulnerable. Yeah, they're not. All right, cool, cool. All right, come on, slug. We're gonna destroy that slug gussy. Yeah. Okay. He's poison. Oh, uh, shit! I don't know, man. I think maybe anything with sentinel. Let's do double commando. Let's see how that does. Because what? What are we? Is Tambo? He's a medic. I don't have much on him though. Could do a Libra scope, but I don't want to. I want to waste. Libra scopes are for like bosses. Alright, and he's about to die anyway. Oh my gosh. Well, we're good to go. Do we have anything on it yet? No, we still don't know. Alright, we'll get there. We'll get there. And we just need to. Oh, well, we, we unlocked it already, so that's good. Quick. 
Okay. A Sprathis. Okay, so that's a monster that has a medic roll, so I'm probably going to level that up a little bit. Let's see. How does it compare to the, the cat? Well, this is a well-grown monster. I'm going to want to infuse this with the cat eventually. I'm going to combine the slug and the kitty to make the slug gussy. Um... Oh, it requires level 2 already? God damn it. I don't have that shit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Wait a minute. Where are my... Where, where am I on the map? Okay, okay, okay. Got a little bit to explore and then we'll go over there. Oh boy. Can't go this way, right? Oh... God damn it. Look as he strike again. So they do life drain where they recover their health. I wonder if we do Rapture, Calm, Saboteur for these guys. Because then they can't recover, like, all their health. They can only recover a certain amount. They do already start with full health. I mean, half health already, which is kind of interesting. It's a weird en enemy design. Like, they create an enemy, and they start them at half health. I wonder if, like, during playtesting, they were like, no, this is way too difficult to fight. Now, I'm probably going to use a special right here. Or actually, no, probably next battle. The second railgun. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need. Oh. Why is the eclipse happening now? And why is it happening right over these ruins? Why is the eclipse happening right now? Let's see what Noel thinks. Your memories are off. Otherworldly invasion. Something in the ruins? Bo boredom! Let's go with the boredom. Hell yeah. Oh, the Falcine was feeling bored. It was like, I, I think I'll try making just this part dark and see how it looks. Or something like that. Oh, the Falcine was bored. It's a cute idea, but I kind of doubt it. Yo, Noel is being sassy as fuck. I like that. I like the side of Noel. Of the powerful paradox effect. We don't know much yet, but we do know it's dangerous. That's a sassy knoll right there. Alright, now before we go well, yeah, let's change our paradigm. We're uh customized. Oh uh, actually no, the smart bomb, we're gonna change this to um uh commando. I think we're going to start off with this as well. Because it's just, uh, those, those healing monsters, they're, just, they're, they're a little bit too too much of a pain in the ass right now. We can't really buy anything, so we might as well just go. Are we not allowed to go inside? Uh -huh. I'm very sorry. Only persons on this game is chugging in this area. Beyond this point. Oh. <sighs> Oh no, why didn't I save it? Maybe this will count as official business. Alright, this one's purple. Why did I? Okay, so he limited my full... Uh... All right, we're just going to do this. Yeah. So right now, basically, Ravager, Sentinel, and uh, Stavichor. And that's basically going to minimize some of the damage we take, as well as hopefully um, employ wounding attacks on him to reduce his max HP, while also uh, provide a, a chain boost.
Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage right now. Right, let's go. That did absolutely nothing. All right, that did nothing as well. Oh my gosh. Let's just do this. Oh, I didn't do as much damage as I wanted to. Oh, okay, okay, comes up. Okay, um, we need to do this. So you can do one magic, the Shoka. Oh boy, this. Oh, this is gonna suck. Maybe we'll do triple commando next time. Do I have smart bomb? I don't. I took it out. We can at least do this. Oh, why'd I do this? I should have done that. That's. Let's just heal up for a second. We're doing a lot of switching back and forth. All the all this time, Final Fantasy Thirteen is. Okay, we're gonna wait for one attack. There we go. Do you have a weakness against it? No. Let's go. Let's go. Full attack. Oh, he went back into it. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be a hard match. This is gonna be a really hard match. Oh, deep protector is uh oh, he keeps using deep protector. That's fucking sucks.
Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh boy, yeah, this is this is gonna be a long shit, man. I didn't know how long this 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 match was gonna be. I did not anticipate this. Alright, okay. As soon as we start attacking, there he goes. Okay, cool. Let's go. Alright, let's go full Cerberus. Let's see what happens when we do Cerberus. Alright, we're putting in numbers. No, oh, I'm out. Okay, nope. Retry. Yep. This this is really hard. We need to retry. We can do that a little bit better. Okay, party paradigms. No, uh, honestly, this party paradigm pack isn't bad. Ravager, yeah, Consolidation, uh, Medic, Overcaution, yeah. And then Matador. We don't have a sentinel. But we can do diversity, actually. Yeah. There we go. You know what we don't have, though? We don't have a Ravager. We don't have an attack paradigm for Sentinel. Okay, I think this is good. All right, let's try this again.
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we were able to do half of it. That's that's great. That's fantastic. What else do we have? Remedy. Just do that We'll do Vendetta. Woo! Close. I'm liking Vendetta so far. Can I see how much it increases the, the stagger gauge by? Alright, right here. Not by a lot. If this is just to do a physical attack, that way the stagger gauge doesn't deplete. Let's go. Alright, let's go.
Oh, god damn it. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. But that was close. That was good. Actually, I, I need to provoke. Ooh. stay in this position and we'll just keep using potions after every swipe. Let's go. Woo! That's close. Three hundred percent. Let's go. Let's go. No, oh my gosh, we did it. Holy shit, that was hard. God damn, that was hard. Oh. Is it dead? The Gogmog. How strong is this boomerang? Cause a space time vortex to appear. An electromagnetic shock usually shuts them down. It's been a while, Sarah. So, is like, does that mean that thunder is the weakness? Is that you? I'm grateful you remember me. Who's this? Oh, uh. Director of Academy Research, Team Alpha. Hope best I'm at your service. And he you, looks good. He's a man. You must be Noel. He's no longer a boy. Let's guess. Who told you? When we last saw him, he was but a boy, but now he's a man. At the Brescia ruins. Subsequently, we analyzed the gate and forecast your reappearance at this location. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really believe that time travel was possible. But here you are. I'm really glad you're safe. God damn! Why are you holding my hands like that? It's as if time has stopped. Everyone I knew is gone. Yeah, yeah, d d d you know, that's what I'm saying, like, Snow, he he's supposed to be the, the, engaged, the engaged partner. Snow as well, and Saz and his boy, you all disappeared from my life. It's been ten years now. I never thought... When the paradox occurred some years ago, I thought if I could solve it, maybe you would all come back. Director, there you are. Boy, this chick... Gosh. It was a shock seeing Hope grown older than me. 
But he was still the same hope I knew. Then we do the walk and talk, right? Lightning, hope listened to my story without saying a word. I told him about how I'm the only one who remembers your smile on the plane of Grand Pulse. I told him about how Snow set out to try and save you and Vanille and Fang. And I told him about Noel. Noel from the future. There's something I want to show you both. We can continue our conversation as we walk. Well, uh, yeah, but I want to reset the oh. FPS. Okay, lady. Yeah, that's right. Stay in your fucking place. God damn it. No simps here. We ain't simps, boys. No simps. Tell me, Hope. What made you join the Academy? A sense of duty. Vanille, Fang, Lightning. They turned to crystal so that we might live. It was an enormous sacrifice. My sister and the others. I think they wanted to preserve life. They gave us a chance to live again. Are we gonna... Yeah, this is where I ask you a question, right? Alright. Come on, Mom. Come on. Alright, before we do that, though. We are gonna ask him a question. But where are you? Go, yeah. Come on, dude. Come on, what's this? Serenity Satchet. Alright, okay. Before we go forward, let's talk a little bit. This is a foul sea that was uncovered in these ruins. Seems he had a deep connection with the people of Padra. We've tried analyzing it with the Academy's equipment, but... However, it does seem to react to another device that we found in these rooms. So this fall C is actually, it looks a lot like Carbuncle. The Carbuncle that we saw. Three remedies, great. Because, oh my gosh. I guess that last boss, that was, that was rough. Yeah, this looks a lot like Carbuncle. I'm a night owl. So these days without any sun are quite enjoyable for me. On sunny days, I can't help but wish I didn't have to be at work. I suppose that's not... So you'd rather work at night? I'll resolve the paradox. You'll see. I'll turn Pulse into a haven one day. All right. All right. Now, before we... Let's save this game right now. I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to come back, okay?
not how difficult like i think this game final fantasy 13 2 is a little bit more difficult on the early front just because um it's uh how do i say it it's very um i don't know i feel like especially when a boss pops up it reminds you of oh you should have learned these systems and how well they need to work with each other because if you haven't then you know you're gonna get screwed for better or worse hey oh we need a switch yeah, so this looks a lot like Carbuncle. I wonder if it is Carbuncle or not. Carbuncle figure. Oh, interesting. No, it's it's not even Bisiri. It's um monsters. <laughs> this is a different kind of Carbuncle. You know, the, the, the newsboy cap is hard to beat, but we'll go with the carbon. Okay. Carbuncle clan rice up. And the other one we have is the hoplite. But she can't wear it. Get the score. Squ oh, yeah, he can wear something. That newsboy cap goes hard. It's just right there. It's so small. Here. boy cap goes hard. Crystal is okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um. Yeah, and look. Oh, look. There's uh, something there. Can't get it. Griff has the head behind. This carbuncle had two heads, and this one I think only has Interesting. Talk to Alyssa. How long has it been? Five years? You two haven't changed at all. I hope not. <laughs> and here we are, meeting in ruins again. Ruins are places where memories gather like dust. So many layers of Dude, you're way too close Probably to me. Probably the easiest place for a paradox to occur. What else do you have to say? We've made significant progress these past five years. This is the front line of paradox research. I don't think she has anything else to say beyond that. So oh nope, never mind. We're gonna we're just we just keep going. How many guys you got? Significant okay, there we go. They put the future in our hands. We're in a position to build a society based on human technology. No longer subject to the whim of the foul sea. That's the gift we've been given. Okay. This is the front line of paradox research. Okay, I don't want to talk to you. Talk to Hope. He's my boy. You've just stepped into the near future. You must be curious about a few things. How has the academy grown? Why is Alyssa here with you? Any progress? Why are you so grown up? Yes, that's the one. Hope, why are you all so grown up now? You can't seriously still need an explanation for that, can you? Well, Sarah, I travel. you've traveled seven years into the future. And though it's been a relatively short period for you... I've continued to age at the normal rate. Does that explain things for you? Oh, I know that. What I meant to ask was, why do you seem so mature for your age? Oh my god. I'm no scientist, but even I understand that seven years have passed. <laughs> wow, did you really think I was that dense? No, no, of course not. Please, you must believe I would never think that. Oh boy. <laughs> nice save, director. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think 
Alyssa wants to have a quadruple sum with all of us. I don't like her. This eclipse is... We've made significant progress. Okay, get away from me. Get away from me. Guests of yours, director. Watch your step in there. Thank you. Isn't the Academy a research institute? Why do you need so many soldiers? Without the fallacy around, we have to be able to protect ourselves. <clears throat> that means guns. The time distortions spawn hostile creatures. Until we can resolve the paradox, we need military force to repel threats. These armed patrols are essential for our safety. <laughs> okay, so he's just gonna chill out right there. Alright, so while he does that, I'm gonna hop in over here. Could be another one up here, man. This is where Versinatrix was. Versin or something. What's, going on? Come on, come on. What's this? A secret? For me? You shouldn't have. Michelle Greens, thank God. That saves me 300. A good old 300. I think that's kind of it. It's hard to believe it's really been 10 years. So much time has passed. Talk about the ruins, talk about lightning, talk about Zas, talk about snow. Um, yeah, we'll talk about Snow. So, Hope, have you heard anything from Snow? Nothing, I'm sorry to say. Not a single word. Not since he left on his mission. No sign of him for ten whole years? Sounds like we're not the only ones traveling through time. You might be right. Considering Snow's uncanny ability to find trouble, he's almost certainly aware of these temporal aberrations. Man, but Snow is so fucking stupid. Like, you're making a huge leap in conclusions, man. You know, I wish you'd said where and when you were from the last time we met. The whole place was in an uproar after you suddenly disappeared. I'm so glad Mog is still with you. I like him. So, what happened? I'm glad to see you're doing well, Sarah. Oh, we can talk about other things. Uh, talk about Zaz. Are doing. We've been out of touch. Actually, now that I think about it, Dodge to live on Grand Pulse, and he was flying airships the last I heard. Then suddenly they both disappeared. I, I searched everywhere but never found them. Look at us, all gone our separate ways. <sighs> yes, and I can't tell you how much it means to have you here now. Saz and Snow may have set off on different paths, but I've started to think that. In the end, we're all headed towards the same goal. Yeah, that goal of DLC. Because that's why they're on separate paths. I wonder how the others for the DLC. Oh, that was the fucking cutscene button. God damn it. This is some kind of ancient city, right? The city of Padra, or so we believe. It was the center of a great kingdom built by a nation known as the Farseers. The Farseers? Mm -hmm. You're telling me there used to be enough of them to build this entire town? Hmm. According to our research, we believe they constituted an entire nation. Huh. A polity that was ruled by a Cirrus. Uh, this song is so fucking good. Standing here in this place. So this nation, Padra, their leader was a Cirrus, right? Yes. The Cirrus would read the fates, see the future, and guide her country. You. Time travelers, huh? What did the inhabitants do for food? I'm really curious what else he has to say because I haven't seen this in a while. Oh, I think this is where they shows the vision. Thanks. You travel through time. I suppose it's not surprising you know about these things. The power to rule was passed down from one Cirrus to the next. She was always called Yule. 
If they could read time, why did they die out? Surely they could see the danger coming and do something to avoid it. No, they were destroyed because they could see the future. Why? The Cirrus Yule foresaw the future destruction of this city. Some citizens wanted to try to avert the disaster. Others felt that they should simply abandon their homes and run. A few fell into despair and took their own lives. The divided populace clashed. The nation was torn apart by civil war. Being able to see the future is awfully dangerous. It can mess with people's heads. Tell me about it. The nation fell apart, and the survivors fled into the wildlands, avoiding contact with others. Huh. So you know the story. Oh! Come on, Director Hope! I want to show them! It's okay to show them, isn't it? Dude, this way. Leave my boy Hope alone. Stop touching him. This is what lies at the heart of our paradox. The Oracle Drive. We've been giving it careful study. But how did you... Wait. You know of these devices? Oh, uh... Oh, yeah. I've, uh... I've heard of them. In books and stuff. <laughs> the Oracle Drive appears to be some kind of recording apparatus from ancient times. We've excavated a number of the devices. However, the recordings depict things that cannot be possible. Perhaps you should see for yourselves. This is how it works. Oh my gosh. He's read about them in books and stuff, but he knows how it works. How crunchy is this going to be? Okay, Ragnarok. Yeah, Cocoon Falling. Still Ragnarok, still crunchy. Lightning. What, the lightning destroy Ragnarok with her Odin? No, I mean, this is just a couple cutscenes. Oh, yeah, those Hecatok here. Lightning again. From several centuries ago. Someone in the past recorded this vision of the future. Perhaps it was the Cirrus Yule herself. We're making so many jumps in conclusion. What we're concerned about, however, is this. You'll have to excuse the image quality. <laughs> it's in 480p. Oh yeah, that is bad. So it's her fight with Caius. Meteor. And there's the fight. Was that my sister? Yes, I think so. We need to conduct further analysis to be certain. <sighs> Is it broken? No. We've tested both device and data, and everything is nominal. Yet, when we try to view the recording, we get this. Perhaps it's not the recording that's broken. It's the immediate space-time in which we are located. Mm -hmm. You mean it could be the paradox? Because the surrounding space-time is twisted, that might be directly affecting the device. So, if the paradox is eliminated, space-time will return to normal. Then Maybe. we can see the prophecy and find out where my sister is. Yes, I believe so. Right. Yeah. Okay. An artifact. This object serves as a key. Is that right? That looks. Uh, we try to make it work ourselves, but with no success. That looks a little like a coon. We can use that to travel across time. Then you may have it. I think it'll be far more useful to you than us. Here. Maybe that's Etro. I don't know. Artifacts, for the most part, are crystals. So that's that's interesting. Man, that was a that was a huge. Hollow. I wonder what that has to do with Pulsing. 
we traveled outside time and space, Hope had devoted himself to his research, trying to unlock the mystery of the paradox. If the gates are the cause of the puzzle, they might also be the key to unlocking it. But I wonder, am I getting closer? Will I find lightning in the end? Time to find that gate. That was in the ruins. Search for the gate. Right, isn't there an item over here? I think I'm a bit jealous of you, Sarah. God damn, you are the past or the future. And if you find somewhere you like, you can just stay there. Huh. I've never thought of it like that. I've been so focused on finding my sister. Huh? Of course you are. You understand why I wanted to show you the Oracle Drive? I think I do. What is that noise? You've been looking for lightning too. What the fuck is Mog doing? Yes. It's not much of a clue. But I thought you should see it all the same. And I wanted you to see how far we've come. Hope has been analyzing the Oracle Drive and the images that appear to be lightning. What should you ask him? I want to know more about Padre. Tell us about these ruins. What have you learned about Padre so far? We're still excavating, gathering clues, and putting things together. But Padre was likely founded before the War of Transgression. And that was what? 680? Is Mog trying to fix his clock? We've actually found records in an oracle drive that described the conflict. The Cirrus gazed into the future and saw a war that would occur after her own nation was destroyed. We've still barely scratched this. The Oracle Drive is my main field of... Doing it again. He's just doing that in cutscenes. I see. Uh, okay, sure. I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. I don't know what to think of that. Oh hi! Still wandering. Oh hi! They found traces of what looks like a large-scale battle in these ruins. They uncovered piles of bones that were all scratched up. They must have been fighting monsters too. The thing is. The scratch marks suggested they were inflicted by people. So what's really interesting about this, uh, Padra, is that you see it in Final Fantasy XIII. And um, it's just really cool to see the assets reused and also them giving like some backstory to this weird place that has like buildings and almost like a castle bridge up there. And it's rad. I love to see stuff like that. That's so cool. Like, it's so, so dope that they can do that. Because especially when you come here the first time, like, there's not much to do here other than to look for Falci in Final Fantasy XIII. So it's nice that they, like, really, like, you know, they expand on this so much. They give you so much more lore. As to like what people did here, and the the people that lived here, and there's an analect in Final Fantasy Thirteen, um, that has whose author is uh New Padre uh, Yule, I think. So it's really cool that um, they talk about this. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's fascinating to me. There's there's probably nothing much more to it than that, but I I do love the expansion of that. The academy's troops are made up mainly of former Sanctum soldiers. My commanding officer even fought in Cocoon's capital city. What's his name? Roche? One of these guys has a side quest. I'm collecting parts for my computer truck. There we go. If you've got any, I'd be happy to buy them from you. What I really want to get my hands on is the battery used for one of the older models. Like the kind they used on Cocoon. It wasn't a very popular model, so the parts are scarce. 
I saw it in a store window once. I got excited and ran in, but it turned out that the item had already been bought. Excavation worker Cole enjoys collecting retro electronics. Get a battery from 10 years ago. Okay. Really? You'll help me try and find the battery? Yeah. If you say you can get your hands on it, I'll believe you. You want to know what I'll be using it for? I'm a collector. I want to get my hands on all the retro electronics I can. I'm looking to obtain the battery. It's been 10... Okay, so he's looking for a battery. Hmm... Ooh. God, this song is so good. This is like one. No, no, no. Let's go back up here. Okay, so listen to the song. Listen to the song. I don't know if you know how good the song is, but one of my favorite ones of Final Fantasy 13 too. Shut the fuck up and let me listen to a song, lady. Shut the fuck up, man. You traveled here from five years ago. Shut up. That's the best part right there. Find the paradox we get resolved. Shut up, please. This place is starting to grow on me. Yeah, what a good song. Okay, I think we're about to end the stream, but before we end it, let's just kind of upgrade some stuff. Alright, we got... I want to get launch. Uh, I need a center. Uh, there's so much to do. Increase. Uh, I don't know. Bo calm bonus boost. Accessory capacity. Yeah. I don't know if I want... Oh, smite. Okay, now we'll go Ravager.
Okay. Well, we'll probably get the Ravager bonus, I think. Oh. Oh, learn combat commando bonus boost. Sen uh. Synergist. I think we need the synergist. Yeah, synergist seems to be. Uh, it, it seems like it's gonna be important. Okay. Okay, it's if we got any slivers. We're running out of level two monsters. Attack room poison chaser. Doesn't tell me. Oh, I don't have any passive. What is poison chaser? Who strength versus enemies afflicted with poison? Oh, that's pretty cool. We'll try this guy out. Yeah, Poison Chaser seems great. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many here. Guy has such low HP too. Okay, um... What fragments do we got? Oh, there's uh, some stuff here. Okay. What the hell is a gravel zone? Okay, we're gonna have to. Well, these are Fate Recollections Heart Prism. Great Mog Wisdom, Delicate. Cr oh my gosh, there's so much crap here. Okay, okay, we need to come back for this. Oh, this is a good way. So there's a new bottom. There's something. And then what else is around here? Okay. Capacity. So we can put on one that has four. Oh boy. His is 50. So we can do... Oh, he creates a passive. Moderately recharges ATP gauge when damage is taken. Oh, that's good. Interesting. Buff duration. 20%. We don't have buffs right now. Okay, I guess that's the benefits of having different weapons. Alright, let me see if there's... Let me... Okay, um, Lunar Stinger is better, but buff durations, 20%, that's a, that's a while. Oh. Oh. Right. Uh, and then, um, I, I wish I could, that is, Resist Apparel increases, okay. Those are his passive abilities. What? So, what is your biohazard injection? Deals physical inflicting debuffing ailments. Type timing. So, I'm guessing these ailments are going to depend on what level it's at. Oh, feral speed two. Interesting. So, I guess I can do use that to infuse. So, they got a few. Oh, item collect. But you have to unlock them. Okay, so you want Kate Sith to basically be interesting. We got this guy. I forgot about this guy. He has launch, actually. What is your Feral Link? 
Enhances all allies' attributes. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's a good stream. Let's. We're gonna save it. I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty tired. That was fun. That was really cool. I think we learned a lot here. No, we didn't. I talked in circles. The first 20, 30 minutes, I was talking in circles. Oh, man. We had my grandma's 90th birthday party yesterday. I just felt so tired after it. But waking up, it's like I still want to go back to sleep. Anyway, you guys have a good night.